stress as a suprasegmental feature. Since uh, stress is superimposed uh, above segment level, it's a very important suprasegmental feature. And uh, it's uh, the aspect of speech which is really important in order to not only create phonemic differences, but also in order to um, pronounce right, properly, appropriately, we need to know what's the stress pattern within a specific language, right? Um, suprasegmental feature uh, uh, trends is applied to a whole syllable, right? Because they are, uh, the stress pattern is applied at syllable level. It's not applied at segmental level, right? It's not applied on a specific consonant or vowel, right? It's applied on a complete syllable, and that's why stress is the suprasegmental feature. Uh, you may remember the pattern of stress and stress syllables, right? Which syllable is to be stressed, which is to be unstressed. And we also talked about uh, somewhere earlier that uh, how is the stress uh, applied, right? How it is superimposed, right, on a specific syllable. And in specific pattern, which syllable is to be more uh, prominent, right? So that's the part of the discussion on stress. Uh, stress is when a greater amount of uh, energy is applied on a specific syllable. And in a very general terminology, stress is uh, applied in order to, to make one particular syllable more prominent, prominent than the rest of the syllables in that word, right? That's the word level stress. And we can also talk about the uh, sentence level stress. When one word within a connected speech, within a full sentence is made prominent, right? Uh, so that is stress. Um, you can compare words like insult with insult. You see the difference? Insult, insult, right? So there is a difference between the two words. In the first word, the first syllable is uh, made prominent. And in the second word, the second syllable is made prominent. Um, two more words, right? And you just think about the difference. Below. And then, below, below, below. See the difference? That's the stress application, right? Like how is one uh, particular syllable made uh, stressed or prominent? In some languages, the stress pattern is fixed. And one example is the Czech language, which is spoken in the Czech Republic, right? The Czech language has a very um, fixed uh, stress syllable. Similarly, languages like Polish and Swahili, these languages also have uh, the uh, uh, fixed uh, stress pattern. Like in every word of uh, the uh, Polish and Swahili language, if it's, uh, you know, uh, a polysyllabic word, the penultimate syllable is stressed. Penultimate, the second last, right? The one before the ending syllable. So penultimate uh, syllables are stressed, and then there are languages in which we can also have fixed patterns. But English is a language which does not have a fixed pattern. And it's really important to know what is, you know, stress and how it is applied in languages like English. Stress can give us uh, some hints, some cues about the rhythmic patterns within a language, right? Since speech is rhythmic, remember that speech is rhythmic, and sentences are rhythmic, right? So in order to maintain that rhythm, we need to have stresses, right? Stress and unstressed patterns, right? That's an important discussion. And stress syllables, they have more nuclear energy. In general terminology, they have more uh, air, right? The, you know, the muscular activity is um, more prominent in, in a stress syllable, right? So that is the stress. And then, Four factors work simultaneously in order to make a syllable stressed. One is the loudness, because the syllable is stressed, so that's louder than the rest of the syllables. Then the length, the length duration is longer in stress syllable. And the third, quality. The quality of the vowel is different. It's, uh, you know, the prominent vowel, right? It's not the reduced one, it's not the neutral one, it's the prominent one. And then rise in pitch. For that syllable, the pitch is rise, right? That's the high pitch uh, syllable, okay? So these four factors, they work simultaneously in order to make a syllable stressed. 
Um, the stress and stress discussion is important while uh, discussing vowels. The stress pattern, vowel is prominent. It's the extraordinary size of the uh, vowel. And then the unstressed syllable, right? In unstressed syllable, the, the vowel could be uh, either, uh, you know, the unstressed one or the reduced one. So top division, two types of vowels, uh, two types of syllables. One, the stressed syllable and the unstressed syllable. With an unstressed syllable, that can further be divided into two types of vowels, the reduced vowels and the unstressed, unreduced, neutral vowel. So that's the you know, explanation of uh, uh, stress and stress as a suprasegmental feature.